एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल क्रैक्स एट टर्निंग प्रॉब्लम्स इनटू सॉल्यूशंस दिस इज मी प्रियाशा दास एंड दिस इज द पार्ट फोर ऑफ द परमिटेशन कॉम्बिनेशन कोर कॉन्सेप्ट्स दिस पार्ट फोर विल बी फोकस्ड ऑन रेपिटेशन टाइप क्वेश्चन जो कि काफ़ी कॉमनली आस्ड कंडीशन होता है एंड अ परमिटेशन एंड कॉम्बिनेशन नाउ आई अज्यूम दैट दी व्यूअर्स ऑफ दिस वीडियो not only this video but the other videos as well are the ones who are not well acquainted with the mathematics background so keeping that in mind mera primary focus hota hai to make you explain the topic or make you explain why exactly are we using this formula kyunki agar hum ek bar samajh jayenge ki why are we exactly using this formula here we will be remembering it even during the examination but if we just mug up there is 90% of probability that you might mess up with the formula or forget it completely so let's try to understand how to deal with the repetition type words but before jumping into repetition i'll take a word which is not having any repetition in it let's take zat so if i consider the word zat there are three letters in it and the most common type of question which comes uh, related to these words is how many different types can we arrange it and trust me if you just search on internet the previous year questions uh, related to permutation combination coming in zat then you will get 3 to 4 such direct questions where they have used words like bakery pride and something like that and there's a direct question in zat that how many different ways can you arrange it so मान जाइए इस बात को दैट इट इज़ नॉट दैट डिफिकल्ट दे डू आस्क यू सच डिरेक्ट क्वेश्चन इन द एग्जामिनेशन इसीलिए इन वेरियस शॉर्ट्स ऑफ माइंड आई हैव इंक्लूडेड द पॉइंट दैट इफ यू फोकस ऑन मॉडर्न मैथ्स अ लिटिल बिट यू विल रियली सी लाइक टू थ्री मार्क्स ऑफ डिफरेंस इन योर एग्जिस्टिंग स्कोर ऑल राइट सो इफ आई टेक जैट देर आर थ्री डिफरेंट लेटर्स ओवर ह्योर and when i have three different letters let's without taking the formula into consideration right now without taking the formula into consideration right now let's try to understand where this formula comes from so uh, writing that in three ways it's possible to write it as z t a it's possible to write it as uh, it's not z it's x t a it's right t x a and then t A X. I'm not going to continue this. This is a long way. I'm not doing this. I'm just letting you know that this is the various uh, methods in which it can be arranged. But how will we decide that? We have three letters. Now, when I come to the first letter, I know that in this case I can add three different letters. I have the choice of adding three letters. Either I will write X or I'll write A or I'll write T. But when I come to the position of the second second letter in this case we are just having two options left with us kyunki jo bhi humne first case mein select kar liya that cannot be repeated again so that's why we would be going and considering the fact that either the of the two or any of the two which is left will be here so two options left and once you are done with both the position fixing only one option is left for the last one now when you multiply this you will see that this is nothing but 3 factorial i hope you guys are aware of the word factorial so it is equals to 3 factorial so what's the general formula in the cases of arrangement of letters it is that whatever different letters are there just find out the n factorial if there are n here is equals to 3 so three different letters so 3 factorial but what happens when i say that i can repeat the letters now here the condition was that i cannot repeat the letters what if i come and say that out of x a t i can write x 3 times also i can write a 3 times also i can write t 2 times also now this is a common sense question for you people try to understand if you are going to repeat it of course the number of cases which you people will be forming will be definitely more than 3 factorial that is 6 definitely more than 3 factorial now what happens in the case of repetition is we can have conditions like x x x we can have conditions like x x t x x a x t t etc so the number of cases which we are forming or the number of arrangements will definitely go high एंड इस कंडीशन में आपको क्या करना है इस कंडीशन में आपको समझना है कि मैं फर्स्ट पोजीशन में भी तीनों में से कोई भी लेटर्स चूज कर सकती हूँ 
secondly in second letter also i can also add any of the three letters and in the third word also i can add any of the three letters so if i multiply it this will become 3 q that means what is the generalized formula for this the generalized formula is n cube or cube here actually means n to the power n because n to the power n means the number of different letters to the power of the number of letters in which it can be arranged now this is something understood right now that if i can repeat a letter i have more choices with me for my second and the third and the consequent letters as well but if i cannot repeat the number of options or the number of varieties present with me will reduce by 111 one, one. that will lead to a factorial now the last question for the day over here we can also take an example of a word which is being which is having repeated words like let's take the channel name only crack okay we have already taken that let's take crack so if i take crack here i know that out of the total five letters i have total five letters over here and out of these five letters i have one two three four different letters and one letter which is repeating is c so over here how am i going to arrange this now if this would have been a simple question just like the previous formula n factorial n is 5 so i will go with 5 factorial i can arrange it in 5 factorial ways like that is 5 factorial why because if i draw the lines here i have 5 options here i have 4 options to fill 3 2 1 without repetition of course but the condition arises that you must have seen in your books or if you have visited pnc before you must have seen that we are dividing it by some number because uh, c is been repeated the reason why we are dividing this is because it really doesn't matter if i have a c here or i have a c there so this is the point which you need to understand this c and this c can interchange its position and it will not make any difference in the in the arrangement that's like we can take a smaller example like uh, one more example we can take here is smaller one is mama so if i take mama i when i arrange it it really doesn't makes a difference if this m is in the first and this m is in the third or this m is in the third and this m is in the first it really doesn't make a difference same goes with a so that is why this will not form a different arrangement so what do I do? I will reduce my number of cases when I was doing repetition I would increase my number of cases right? because I can repeat a letter more than once but when I am doing an arrangement and there is one letter which is coming every time so we have to look at its position that it is coming in the first or the second or in any position so keeping that in mind what is the final step which we are going to take over here the final step which we are going to take over here is 5 factorial divided by the repetition ek word kitni bar repeat ho raha hai do bar repeat ho raha hai so we are going to divide it by 2 factorial so 5 factorial by 2 factorial will give us the total number of arrangements and here we divide and we reduce the number of arrangements because we don't have to literally that if in any arrangement there is one C in any position and the other C in any other position then changing that will not make a difference so like this if you get more words which are repeating like there are very common questions in PNC which you will find on internet Mississippi, management, mathematics these terms have many words which are repeating so the number of groups you form like a small example out here again that if you are finding a word like mathematics okay so mathematics has how many total letters in it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 letters. So, 11 factorial. Now, I know that M gets repeated 2 times. So, I will divide it by 2 factorial for M. A gets repeated for 2 times. So, I will divide it by 2 factorial. T gets repeated 2 times. Further 2 factorial. H is not repeated. E is not repeated. 
and i is also not repeated c and s are also not repeated so this is my answer now for mathematics so the number of terms which are repeated if it is repeated 3 times then you will divide by 3 factorial so this is the formula but we understood in this video how to use the formula when to use the formula so if you found this use video useful please like this video share it with your friends and of course if you are new to the channel subscribe it as well thank you so much and until we meet again please take care and thanks for watching